like Reggie, I was telling you, right? Like two years ago, we started part time. I started working part time at Basics, right? Um, the Sangat came together in November, right? Your your hard work as well, you know, by Hermes Singh and all the Sangat, everyone came together and they hired me full time. My name is Supreet Singh. I travel this nation and beyond to share the message of the Gurus. As I was heading to my next tour, I thought to myself about what is life. But a magical place to meet those that make your heart whole and complete. It's uh, currently Amrit Villa and uh, the campers are all doing their nickname. And after nickname we have, uh, I'm doing a talk. And the theme of this year's camp is finding your jyot. Um, so we're going to do a talk on that. Hopefully get it recorded um, and then put it up on YouTube so you guys can watch as well. It is apparent to me now, more than ever before, that the Guru truly lives within his six. Every face is complete and every face is pure. And imagine every mistake that we make is loved by that Guru who watches over us and treats us as his own, as his children. Two seconds, what do you like about camp? You. I love by Supreet Singh, I love by Jajar Singh, and all the campers. Who's your favorite camper? And Maharaj. <laughs> Oftentimes, we shine away from our mistakes. We hold them to our hearts and let them burden us. A wise parent allows his child to make the mistake because they know each mistake is creating the future for their child. Hi, um, I'm so happy to be here. It's so nice to be in Good Sangat. Then I'm both happy that I met Faisal Breezing and all the wonderful people here. So, thank The Guru too is a parent. A parent of all of his six. And he's such a parent that is filled with forgiveness and inspires us to walk on the path of truth. Now, with this in mind, I think to myself that our duties as the children of the Guru is so immense. Why? Because we represent our parent, our Guru in this world. We represent their virtues of forgiveness of contentment, of love, of non-judgment for the whole world and for our own community as well. Each face that you see of a Sikh represents the face of the Guru. My name is Harveer Singh. I'm one of the organizers for the camp over here, the DMV Interest SA camp. Our, one of the main goals for this camp was to get Jadevi Gursekha, Jadevi Prem Karde Sikinar, to bring them to a place where they can connect with Guru Sahib, connect with Sangat, and you know, be able to build relationships with Maharaj and be able to find a place to where they can have access to you know people who can teach Santhya to them, have a place where they can get Shastar, have a place where they can you know just have Sangat because you know this place, our community here, we're really lacking in Sangat. Our main goal is to have everybody come together. Janevi SSA Hageya, we have six SSAs on board right now. Just here, we have people coming from California, we have people coming from Wisconsin, Texas, Florida, we have people from all over the United States. And you know, it's not just, we're not just only doing uh, this interest to say camp, we have different projects. We have a project over in California, it's Camp Dishmesh. Camp Dishmesh is based around the Singhandi retreat, we did a Pratan Mariadawa, did a Guru Gobind Singh Apanu Ditta. We try to bring that forth and uh, we have different projects going on with that. We have another organization called Hazur Foundation. Hazur Foundation focuses on bringing JDB missile Hageya throughout the United States, Dalpant, missiles, or like Sikh organizations who are interested in doing Prachar, Sikhida Prachar. 
uh, to do uh, smogams. We had a smogam in Indiana. We had a smogam in California. We have a future smogam planned in Virginia. So these are the little projects that we have going on right now. Maharaj ke rupan aliyon saara kuch thik ho juga. Thik hai jaigar ji ke khalsa. Saara wajgir ji ki The qualities that we just spoke about of forgiveness, of loving others, can be practiced. And within the philosophy of Gurbani, of the Gurus, it is meant to be practiced. Not only to improve your social relationships, but for your own well-being as well. I was asking you, like, you know, how can we make sure that, uh, you know, even like today we're at camp, if people are feeling inspired, um, that we all know what the next step What's is. Like to the inspiration absolutely. because it normally stops at camps and that's that's not that's not okay absolutely Ruti. you know uh, one thing i i i wanted to share this with you as well i've been like trying to like understand the identity of camp bunt um and by the way camp bunt is a sunday camp we run in the states and i think one thing i really wanted to push in camp which was different than other camps that i've experienced is that Every time I go to a camp as a speaker, as a reoccurring camp, right? It's always, let's say it's 200 people. It's always going to be a new batch, new batch of 200 people. Like it's never, I never see a, re, a same face again. You know, it's very, very rare. And if I do, then they're same with others. Right? And so I wanted to make an environment where it's, it's more of a, like a forever thing. It's a lifetime thing. It's not like you, you just come once and then you inspired you get inspired which is really important this yeah. is important you need to kickstart it as well right without the kickstart like there's no there's no interest um, like I was talking to someone I was like what's your what's your spiritual goal what's what's your interest like I haven't thought of one yet you know so it's really it's really important that that inspiration is there because that leads someone to this whole journey of finding themselves right yeah. but then like you said the next step what is that next step um, and honestly I, I think we that's where Sangat comes into the picture you know, I think that's where if like when Guru Sahib made their Kanshi, Anandpur Sahib, these institutions were created for that next step. You know, they, they weren't created as a step one. They were created as a step two, you know. And I think in the States here, and I'm, I'm you know, we're, we're just talking about the States because we live here. Uh, but, the, and that's all we know, right? We don't know much about what's happening elsewhere. So that's what we're just talking about experience, right? I think in the States, we need institutions here. Um, and there, I think there's, a, there's some fantastic organizations that are doing some great work, but it's not consistent enough to become an institution. Right? It's not consistent enough to become an institution. It's still very much inspirational based at one level because it's like happening once every two years. It happens here, then it doesn't happen the next year. It's not like consistent, you know, where a family or institution has to be like you're enrolled. You're enrolled and you're going to be going through this systematical uh, journey. Uh, and at the end of that journey, you will have accomplished something, right? Like a master's or a bachelor's or a PhD. Like, you know what you're getting yourself into. So I feel like we definitely need, uh, we definitely need an institution here. Yeah, we, we need to bring that Guru. And I think that's the Guru's mission, to bring uh, Guru Dikanshi here, you know? Yeah. I think it would be a dream for me to see that, like, the... Um you know, I know we've been talking about like an online university and courses to see that become like an in-person project as well, where people can go for three months, four months, five months, learn how to ride horses, shoot arrows or, you know, whatever it is like uh, everything you're talking about. Like, uh, I, I know we like generally blame like Guru Kars, but I think the previous gener generation did their job in at least getting us land and getting us a gurdwara yes. and things like that. So, so now I feel like, you know, like how do we give back even more so that if someone is a Jagyasu, if someone does want to learn about Sikhi, yeah. where can they go? How can they do it? And then um, how does it unfold? Fantastic question. Do you have an answer? I mean, for me, the, the only answer I have is because I guess Camp Bunt is my answer, yeah. you know, because just because I've been working on that. and But obviously, it's, it's, I think there's, there's more to it, you know. But that's in, in terms of what I can do with these hands or what I can do with this brain right now is that's all I understand, you know. I'm sure there's more to the picture though. And I think, you know, everyone will bring something to the table to grow that picture. Yeah. Guru Sahib, you yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Guru Sahib always leads a good intention to good conclusion. Mm. Right? Yeah. I think um, 
What if you were given $10 million? Okay. If I was given $10 million? Yeah, go do whatever project you want to go do. What would you do? Honestly, right now, right now, I, I haven't even thought about money. Honestly, because you, they could, like, like Ouija was telling you, right? Like, two years ago, we started part-time. I started working part-time at Basics, right? Um, the Sangat came together in November, right? Your, your hard work as well. You know, by Hermes Singh and all the Sangat, everyone came together and they hired me full time, right? Um, ever since then, I realized that money's not an issue. You know, money's ne money has never been the issue. You know, and now since the, these last two months, for my first two months working full time, you know, I learned so much about how much I can do, you know, which is, <laughs> which is limited, you know, like I feel like it's so limited. Like the, the day feels so short. I was telling Jugadazriji yesterday, that I want the sun to never go down because I feel like I have unlimited power now to do it yeah. but I don't have enough time yeah. like you know time is running like this I don't have enough time so that makes, makes me understand the bigger picture now what can I lay down so other generations can pick up so, so, so tell me about some of the stuff you're working on so give me some of the examples for, for this, this Yeah. well right now I'm, I'm working on documentaries because I feel like there's a, there's a very big need uh, for critical thinking, you know, and uh, like you said, the next, next, next stage, next part after inspiration. A lot of, a lot of people, a lot of sangha members get into the stage like they want a critical think, but there's not enough resources or not, not enough like discussions happening on that level, you know. So I want to create that. That that's what I'm really working on right now. And in terms of, you know, and that should be a backbone for the institution that we hopefully we work on together you know um, because once we lay down fundamental you know fundamental ecosystem that the guru created and we understand that ourselves because I feel like we don't understand that as a community yet there's so much that the, the Khalsa Pant that order that system carries that we don't have a, a good grasp of yeah as a community as a whole a couple of bullet points of like what kind of so right now I feel like uh, and rightfully rightfully so I feel like we have the spiritual understanding but we don't have the social political understanding of what the Khalsa is because I feel like the, the Khalsa order sits on top of that system that the nine gurus created which which was you know yes spirituality 100% right but Right? That, that midi aspect of Guru Nanak is speaking up to Babur right? Guru Hargobin Ji Maharaj Guru Gobind Ji Maharaj writing a, uh, if you think of Zafar Nama as a, as a whole like as a as a political statement yeah you know it's, it's, and Guru Nanak Dev Ji's Babur Vani as as a as a, a account uh, of, of what's happening at that time you know I think we don't have that grasp of what we should be doing as a community uh in terms of social reform wow. you know uh, in terms of I, I just feel like we don't have that grasp yet is that the documentary you're working on? Um, the documentary right now I'm working on is, is looking at the stories that Guru Gobind Singh has written and their purpose okay. in that institution of Guru Gobind Singh Ji but it's a series of documentaries that I would like to do that would be the backbone for this idea yeah. that's so next level yeah well thank you Vijay we just got to our destination but I can't wait until those documentaries start yeah, coming out. Yeah, that I'm sounds a, amazing. I'm excited to share with the Sangat as well. You know, can we get the docu series on Netflix? Oh, yo, you, hey, you never know. <laughs> you you know? never know. Yeah. yeah. So, well, check out Exploring Sticky. It'll, it'll go there. Um, and I'd uh, love to see your guys, you know, responses on there and comments on there. Um, and uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Thank you, Vijay. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bye. The very first quality that we can practice and implement into our lives is the quality of contentment that wherever we are in our lives today right now is perfect wherever we are is in the will of the divine of the creator and whatever the creator does for me is in my best interest even if we can't understand that whatever is happening is for our best interest we can try to believe. Slowly we'll reprogram our brain to look at life in a different way. To see every single shade of life, to see every color of life as beautiful and as just the way it was meant to be. We have with us here Pai Jujar Singh Ji, 
ਭਾਈ ਜੁਝਾਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਇਸ ਰਨਿੰਗ ਦ ਗੁਰਮਤ ਪ੍ਰਚਾਰ ਯੂ ਐਸ ਏ ਅ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟ ਦੈਟ ਦੈਟਸ ਦੈਟਸ ਕਵਰਿੰਗ 올 ਦ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਥਰੂ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਆਫ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਡਿਸਟ੍ਰਿਬਿਊਟਿੰਗ ਸਿਕ ਆਰਟੀਫੈਕਟਸ ਅ ਫਰਮ ਪੋਥੀਆਂ all the way to different types of things kakara as well pai sabji da seva and then pai sabji is also one of our main ustads at camp pant so pai sabji waiguru ji waiguru ji ka khalsa waiguru ji ki fate pai sabji aap ji na ek binti karni si te vichar karni si ke agle 5 saal ji aap ji nu ki lag rahi hai ki toda mission ki hai toda prachar itthe usa vich tode goals ki hege hai ਉਹਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਥੋੜਾ ਚਾਨਣਾ ਪਾਓ ਜੀ ਬਾਬਾ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸੋ ਨੈਕਸਟ 5 ਇਅਰਸ ਸੀਮਸ ਪ੍ਰੀ ਚੈਲੈਂਜਿੰਗ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਫੋਰ ਦਾਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਦ ਗੁਰ ਸਿਕਸ ਹੀਅਰ ਇਨ ਦ ਵੈਸਟ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਐਸ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਆਲ ਫੇਸਿੰਗ ਚੈਲੈਂਜਸ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਲੋਕਲ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਟੂ ਦੈਟ ਦੇ ਡੋਨਟ ਲੈਟ ਅਸ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਪ੍ਰਚਾਰ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਡੂ ਕਥਾ ਸੋ ਵਾਈ ਵੀ ਦਾਸ ਵਾਟ ਦਾਸ ਗੋਲ ਇਜ਼ ਦੈਟ ਜਗਾ ਜਗਾ ਇਨ ਈਚ ਐਂਡ ਐਵਰੀ ਸਟੇਟ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਵੀ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਪ੍ਰਚਾਰਕ ਔਰ ਅ ਗੁਰ ਸਿਕ ਦੈਟ establish or that set up stall gurmat pachar stall every weekend the <laughs> kyunki sangat here especially in the west baba ji they don't have resources to they don't have they don't have kade they don't have karpana hmm. they don't have gutka sai especially the kids here we are we fail them because we they don't provide them like any educational resources especially those are that are in english for mm. the little kids right mm. also what we need is a big is a big gap that as a good sex we need to fill to provide the gurbani santhya mm. to the to the kids to the students to the vidyarthi in the gurdwara sahib and also key key members that runs the punjabi school in gurdwara sahib i think that's where we can focus if we work together as a good sex and then train those punjabi teachers in the school mm-hmm. that provide that teaches gurba uh, punjabi language i think if we in next 5 years if we focus them training mm-hmm. giving them gurbani santhya netne bai wara guru granth sahib maharaj ji then i think after 5 years the world will be completely different right. that's the big goal is to to make gurbani santhya easy mm-hmm. make gurbani santhya for everyone and then let everyone know especially in the gurdwara sahib and the mm-hmm. committees that this is something that was a loop mm-hmm. uh, that was uh, you know haven't been touched for a while mm-hmm. now is the time to bring back vidya sanskar back in our pant bhai guru ji ka khalsa bhai guru ji ki fateh in conclusion i would like to share a word from gurbani with you and the word is palla palla means the greater good the guru who is always with all of his six and it doesn't matter if we don't think we're good enough it matters what the guru thinks the guru is with all of his six and that guru that divine light which shines within all of the faces that you've seen all around you that divine light shines within you and that light which is nothing besides palla for you besides the greater good for you in reality there is nothing besides that light in this universe and beyond